Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we are talking about a feature that is called sleep mode in Windows 8. Uh, most people buy um, laptop computers today and uh, even if you bought a desktop sleep mode is something that is available. Uh, what's sleep mode exactly? First of all your computer uses power, your computer works if you aren't doing anything after a certain amount of time you might want your computer to actually go into sleep mode so that it uses less energy uh, it will also generate less heat so it's gonna be better for long-term usage of your computer and um, that setting is programmable because depending on what you do you might not want your computer to go to sleep all the time uh, one of the most annoying settings in the sleep mode is if it's set too fast then what's gonna happen you're going to uh, work for example I have two computers here sometimes I have both of them open one next to each other so I can work and compare on each one and one of the things you might not want is the fact that it would go to sleep before a certain amount of time because you might be checking something on the other computer you might want to check something else on your computer but when you come back oh, it's already in sleep mode or the screen is just shut down and it can be a little annoying so all these settings are adjustable and so one of the first things that you might want to do is change the amount of time before the computer will uh, go into sleep mode and the different actions of sleep mode so how do you go to your sleep mode in Windows 8 just go into your charms bar on the right side of the screen swiping or going to the corners with your mouse search and click sleep go into settings and there you'll have change when the computer sleeps just click there and here you have your settings I have a laptop so it has two types of settings on a desktop you might see only one type of setting it's the time that it takes to uh, dim the display turn off the display and put the computer to sleep now what's the difference dim the display is for example here after two minutes it says that I'm on battery two minutes or plugged in at five minutes you see and you probably notice if you have a laptop that your computer screen will dim slightly now that's useful because if you don't touch your computer for a while the uh, screen being dimmed will take less power so especially on the battery side if you have your laptop on your battery by having this setting dim your screen quite fast will actually make your battery last longer uh, throughout the day or throughout the time that you're using your computer so you can change this setting it is in minutes so you can click and select how many minutes or hours or maybe never Do you want to uh, actually dim the display I personally never um, if I had a, a favorite setting on my computer I would say that on battery two minutes is okay plugged in I would probably choose never uh, because when it's plugged in I find the dimming more annoying than in anything else then you have turn off the display now why do you want to turn off the display on battery one of the main reasons to turn off the display of course is battery life if the display turns off you'll have much much more battery life one of the most um, probably one of the most the features that uses the most energy is your screen light it is one of the major components that make your battery life bad so by putting turn off the display after a few minutes like here is five minutes it means your computer doesn't shut off it just turns off the light on your screen and it's gonna extend your display um, your battery but you also want to put that setting on plugged in why because having a setting that just turns off your screen uh, turn, shuts off the screen will actually make your screen last longer 
one of the major problems with LCD screens and LED screens, but more of LCD, I would say, is the fact that that little neon light that puts light throughout your display actually has a fixed amount of lifetime. And if you use it all the time, what's going to happen is that it will probably burn out faster if it's turned on 24 hours a day than if you actually turn it off when you don't use it. So by putting that display off after a few minutes, you will actually extend the amount of time that your display will work. Now on LED screens, that's less of a problem because LEDs are much more um, efficient and last longer than neon lights but it's still a good idea because they aren't eternal and it might actually make your display um, one of the problems with LED lights for example is the fact that with the years of use it slightly dims with time because the, uh, uh, the when the uh, LEDs actually get used up they slowly emit less light as time goes by as they age so by turning off the display, what's cool is that you'll actually make your display last longer. And finally, put the computer to sleep. Now, that's depending on the usage of your computer. Um, I never want my computer to go to sleep when it's plugged in. I do want my computer to go to sleep after 15 minutes when it's on batteries because basically if I haven't touched it for 15 minutes I might have forgotten that it's turned on for example and that will shut basically shut the computer off to a minimum of energy usage so that it doesn't you know uh, take the battery down drain the battery and then you come back to your computer and there's no more battery life that's a little bad so I would suggest that on battery you do put a 10 15 20 minutes depending on the usage you make uh, bef where it will actually go to sleep mode. Uh, personally, plugged in, I never do it, but you might want, even on a desktop, to put some amount of time. For example, if my desktop computer is used all day, there are periods of time where after, uh, you know, I might work and then I might leave it there for an hour, an hour and a half before I come back. So what I might want actually is to let it go into sleep mode after 20, 30, 30 minutes so that it will actually, um, first of all, make the computer have less, generate less heat. Also, it will turn off the hard drive, stuff like that, that might actually uh, wear out after uh, a few years. and by actually having a computer going to sleep it will make these parts this computer uh, peripheric uh, go um, extend their life of their uh, these um, components and so um, depending on the usage because one of the things you want is not to get annoyed by those settings so you don't want to put these settings too fast or your computer is going to go to sleep every time you want to use it that's a little annoying uh, but you don't want to put them too long also. So that's where you set everything up and once you do you just click save changes and everything will be as you set them up with a um, appropriate amount of time for sleep mode. And um, when you need your computer if it's in sleep mode you just press a power button or on some computers press a few keys um, and it's gonna come back to life. One of the reasons people put your computer in sleep mode also is because it's much faster to start up. Uh, some people actually never shut down the computer. They actually just let it go in sleep mode. Um, and that could be a good idea also because it really, really makes your computer wake up and get into your windows much faster. Um, although I prefer turning it off at night and uh, you know turn, turning back on in the morning so this is where the settings are just go into your charms bar remember just type uh, sleep mode go into settings on the right side um, and you'll see this 
change when the computer sleeps where it's going to bring you to this menu. If you enjoy our videos, click the subscribe button. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have a feature you'd like us to talk about. Let us know. We'll try to put that feature online and uh, talk about it. And you'll be helping others at the same time. And if you have that new Windows 8 machine or planning to buy one, take a look at our videos. We have lots and lots of videos explaining how to use your Windows 8 computer. So thanks for watching and hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.